you just can't imagine how hard it is for people to to get a diagnosis of dementia or for their loved one to get a diagnosis of dementia. She always was a bubbly person, much more inclined to laugh than cry. Just gradually things get worse and worse. The life Lee was having before the diagnosis and before illness was just, you know, the life of Riley, really. You lose the person that you've loved, and obviously you still love them, but just the person has changed so much that it's just so hard. It hits you now and then that this person that perhaps you married is not there. Somebody else is there. I really have no idea of the impact it has on the family. And you realise, you know, it's got out of your control. People run scared. They just don't know what to say to you. They, they find it awkward. People will avoid your eye contact, you know. With dementia, it's a huge unknown. What's your relationship going to be like? How are you going to cope? Where do you go to get help? There's so many different questions that it's really so unfair when you're trying to deal with such a devastating illness and such a devastating diagnosis. Just because somebody has a dementia doesn't mean they lose their personality or who they really are. You mightn't see it, but it's up to us as, as their carers to actually find out what they're feeling and what matters to them. There's space, there's good food, the staff are excellent, and I'm, oh, I'm very pleased. I was encouraged so much by the care that I saw here and the support, not only for Aline, but for all of us here. It was like home from home. It's just wonderful, and St. Joseph's has just been absolutely incredible. <laughs> I mean, the respect that Dad has shown is just amazing, and the love. Sorry. It's a great relief to know, in fact, that she is okay now, that she's well looked after. I think the fact that they feel loved and cared for and safe, the fact that the stimulation in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. There's people around that just understand. Whether you're staff or whether you're family or whether you're here as a resident and you're living with dementia, you're living in a community that supports you. Just because somebody has a dementia doesn't mean they lose their personality or who they really are. You mightn't see it, but it's up to us as, as their carers to actually find out what they're feeling and what matters to them. The vision that we have is that We'll have a dementia village, a community where people can um, live to the best of their ability, no matter what stage they are at dementia. So we'll support every stage. If they're at the early stages, we'll, you know, hopefully have as much activity and as much a normal life as possible. Um, at a latter stage, we'll support both the person living with dementia at that palliative end of life and their family as best as possible, that all their wishes are, are looked after. The only old girl with the brown eyes. <laughs> That's humour. That's me. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs>